If you have borehole or well data, we recommend that you start with the RockWorks Relational Database Manager. The boreholes are listed within the first column, while the associated data tables are listed within tabs in the second column. The location table supports hundreds of coordinate systems, including UTM and state plane. The orientation table is used to define the downhole survey for projecting and bending non-vertical boreholes. If this table is empty, the program will assume that the associated borehole is vertical. Otherwise, the boreholes will be inclined and bent to conform with the downhole survey information. The lithology table is used to store data that isn't assumed to be laterally contiguous across the project site. This means discontinuous lenses that are best modeled in a block or voxel fashion. Conversely, the stratigraphy table is used for storing formation type data that typically spans the site. This data is commonly modeled as layered grids. The iData table is used for quantitative information with upper and lower bounding depths. Typical data types include geochemistry and geotechnical measurements. T-data is similar to iData with the addition of a sampling date for modeling contaminant concentration and migration changes. This type of data is best modeled and displayed as 2D and 3D animations. The p-data table is used for storing quantitative information with a single depth, such as downhole geophysics. Gamma, resistivity, SP, blow counts, and so on can be modeled and filtered using a variety of RockWorks tools. RockWorks is able to model true color, not color coding a parameter, but true color. This is an especially useful tool within the ceramics industry. Fractures are stored as disks whose radii represent the extents of the fractures while the aperture represents the thickness. Distance to fracture models and fracture intersection models are often used to modify hydraulic conductivity models. Water level data includes the aquifer name, sampling date, and potentiometric surface depths. As with T data, water level data is best viewed as 2D and 3D animations. Bitmaps can be used to display raster scans, core photos, and micro photographs within the strip logs. The vectors table is used for storing downhole laser, directional flow meter, or tilt meter data. Applications include dam deflection, abandoned mine subsidence, and karst mapping. The construction table is used for creating diagrams of the well or borehole configuration. The production table is used for storing historical data relating to the oil, gas, and or water production associated with the well. Over 300 programs are available for processing these different types of borehole data. These applications grouped under the borehole operations heading include 2D maps, strip logs, cross sections, profiles, fence diagrams, structure maps, isopacks, block models, isosurface models, volumetrics, and excavation design. RockWorks also includes a spreadsheet style data manager for storing information that doesn't merit a relational database. Over 170 programs grouped under the Utilities heading may be used to perform specialized operations including tunneling, infrastructure, drainage analyses, slope analyses, claim mapping, global contouring, point mapping, Durov diagrams, stiff diagrams, piper plots, drawdown computations, hydrographs, ternary plots, QAPF classification, thematic mapping, rose diagrams, rose maps, histograms, stereonets, multivariate maps, and much more. A plethora of import and export options exist for moving data into and out of RockWorks for interoperability with other products. These options are available from within the Borehole Data Manager, the Datasheet, and the 2D and 3D plotting programs. The generic nature of RockWorks has resulted in widespread use within a variety of geo-related industries.